nominated tonight for three Emmy Awards, please welcome John Stewart. Uh, John Angry. Hello, everybody. By the way, that is as much fun as it looks. Good evening. I'm awfully honored to join the television industry tonight in honoring itself. But it hurts me to know that some of our colleagues will not be joining in the festivities. We'll go unrecognized. First of all, uh, the ones that are no good. Um, second of all, our forgotten friends in the news business. For too long, the television news industry has sacrificed its hard-won integrity in favor of cheap entertainment value, only to go unrewarded come Emmy night. <laughs> well, not tonight, sister. Tonight, we congratulate television news on becoming us, mindless ratings whores. <laughs> You're welcome. Our first category honors news tune-in technique. There are many ways to get viewers to watch the news. Provide in-depth coverage, insight, context. Or you can use the technique of tonight's winner, cable news, fear, and speculation. What is a dirty bomb? How easy is it to make one? How easy would it be to bring one to the country? How concerned are you, and should we be, about monkeypox at this point? Are others still out there? Can you go out, for instance, and get a barrel of medical radiological waste? What is it? Where has it hit, and can you catch it? And put a stick of dynamite on it and create a dirty bomb? What kind of implications would that have? Do you know? What can you tell us about Hispanic Muslims? What can you tell us about Hispanic Muslims? Are they nocturnal? <laughs> Carnivores? Next up, politicians. Now, it's very important for politicians to be intelligent, passionate, principled. I'm just kidding. It's important for politicians to be good on television. Usually they go on Larry King to look good. Sometimes that doesn't work out. This year's winner for the most uncomfortable Larry King intro, Howard Dean with I Don't Know How to Smile. We begin with gov the former governor of the state of Vermont, Howard Dean. He's with us from Burlington, Vermont. If you saw the weeklies, they're out. He's on the front cover of Newsweek called Howard Dean, Destiny or Disaster. Seriously, you guys are thinking about Schwarzenegger? Seriously? That's pathetic. Um, you know, if he stinks, you can't go to the future and send somebody back to stop him. You know that. He's ready for that. Next, the war in Iraq was perhaps the story of the year, perhaps of our lifetime. If only there was some way to jazz it up. The award for most unnecessary production addition to a perfectly fine news story is, and I have to tell you, we did not alter or edit this film clip in any way. It's Fox News with explosions to music. First, though, some sights and sounds from the past week of Operation Iraqi Freedom. My God, they're attacking Vangelis! And finally, the Geraldo Rivera Lifetime Achievement Award for making yourself the story goes once again, as it does every year, to... I, again, I don't want to stroke our performance in Afghanistan, but if you look at the videotape, nobody got shot at more. No one got shelled more. If they're going to get us, it's going to be in a gunfight. A really weak-kneed, backstabbing, uh, sweaty-palmed reporter. It sounds to me like some, some rats at my former network, uh, NBC, are spreading some lies about me. Aaron Brown at CNN. I this saw what he did. He would poop in his pants if he was anywhere near what I was near. Thank you, Geraldo, for keeping the poop out of America's pants. So, with that, 
Here are the nominees for Outstanding Writing in a Variety of Music and Comedy Program. The Daily Show with John Stewart, David Javerbaum, Rich Bloomquist, Steve Badu, Eric Drysdale, J.R. Havlin, Scott Jacobson, Tom Johnson, Ben Carlin, Rob Kuttner, Chris Regan, Jason Reach, Jason Ross, and John Stewart. And then he goes to the team from the Daily Show with John Stewart. Writer, host, and executive producer John Stewart will be accepting the Emmy. The Daily Show with John Stewart is also nominated in the Outstanding Variety Music or Comedy Series category. Um, I've always felt that diversity is the most important part of a writing staff. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but Steve has a beard, and JR isn't Jewish. Um, I want to thank Comedy Central very much for giving us the freedom uh, to do w what we do, and uh, I want to thank these guys for coming in every day. And just... And that's... Hilarious, but you can't be nominated for an Emmy by directing this show. I just want to point that out. All right. Um, these guys come in uh, every day, and it's a relentless pace. And uh, they bring the funny, and they bring a piece of inspiration, and, and they really do a tremendous job. And also the correspondents and the producers and uh, Stu Bailey, Kahani Korn, uh, DJ Javerbaum, uh, Ben Carlin, and Stephen Colbert, who is, uh, unfortunately, because of like a weird uh, Writer's Guild to basic cable conversion mishap. Not eligible, but as much a writer up here as any of us. And uh, so I owe it to these guys. Thank you so much. And now the nominees for Outstanding Variety Music or Comedy Series. The Daily Show with Jon Stewart. And the Emmy goes to The Daily Show with John Stewart. Just moments ago, John Stewart won the Emmy for Outstanding Writing for a Variety Music or Comedy Program. Thank you guys so much. Um, it was such a great war for us. Um, no, there's definitely, uh, it's weird uh, when you have a show that deals with uh, the events, and when the events get catastrophic, your show gets popular. Uh, so you do feel like, hey, war and chaos. Woo! Uh, but everybody just at the show worked really hard. Um, Gahani Korn, Ben Carlin, uh, Stu Bailey, all the producers, uh, the writers, the field producers, uh, Chuck O'Neill, the director. Uh, it's just, it's an incredible group of people in a tiny little building on the west side of, uh, of Manhattan. And we just, uh, we appreciate this a lot on a personal note. I want to thank James Dixon, Matt LeBove, and especially my wife, Tracy. Thank you so much. Thank you.